that main project, it's the Transformers project from Hugging Face. It's one of the fastest growing open source projects ever. You can see the GitHub stars for Transformers, which is the yellow line on the left-hand side. So, you know, we are all very humble by this. We thank the community for this. We really intend to keep the good stuff coming. And it's not just the community. We see analysts also catching up. If you read the latest State of AI report, you probably saw that transformers are emerging as a general purpose architecture for ML. So it's really not just NLP. And you could say not just deep learning anymore. It's really becoming the de facto standard for ML. And this is confirmed by the Kaggle survey that shows that traditional models like convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks are increasingly less popular while transformers are increasingly more popular. Um, and we have over 1 million model downloads from the Hugging Face Hub every day. So lots of folks use us. Uh, we're again, very happy and very humbled. And this shows the value of the transformer architecture. There's a whole portfolio of projects that we work on. So we have data sets and models that we host on the Hugging Face Hub, our website, which you will see in a minute. From that, you can actually go and use different solutions for training. Of course, you can train on your own machine using the Transformers library. We have a, an, another open source library called Optimum for hardware acceleration on training and on inference. We have an AutoML product called AutoTrain. You can then move on your models to spaces, a very cool way to build and demo your machine learning models in um, ML applications, uh, web applications. And we have the Inference API, which is a managed hosting service for models. And of course, if you like to work in the cloud, we have a partnership with AWS, which makes it easy to uh, train and deploy models on Amazon SageMaker. And uh, as of a few weeks ago, we also launched a service on uh, Microsoft Azure where you can literally one-click deploy any NLP model from the hub to manage infrastructure on Azure. So that's kind of the family picture here. If you're curious about the other stuff, feel free to go to our website, huggingface.co. So this is the Hugging Face Hub that lives at huggingface.co. You can sign up in a minute. You just need to give a username and an email address and a password. That's all it takes, and it's all free to use. And on the hub, we have models and we see models for a whole bunch of task types from natural language processing to computer vision, to audio, even reinforcement learning now. In a nutshell, what you see here is the, what we call the model page. Each model is managed in a Git repository, which you can clone using the Git workflow or which you can uh, uh, use with our open source libraries. The model card gives you information on what the model is, how, what it's been trained on, some metrics, you know, generally any information that you'd like to have. And we see the same for data sets, about the same thing. And of course, we have all those nice tags on the left that let us find models for, I don't know, uh, summarization in French. And yeah, you can see those models here directly and we can go and work with them. So the hub really doesn't need a lot of introduction. Just create an account, go and, and try it out. How do we make this look good? Because imagine you had to demo this to your marketing director or business person who doesn't really have any technical background. Imagine you're doing that same demo I'm doing right there. They're going to be very confused and... This looks nothing like what they had in mind. And they'll probably say, all I really wanted was a simple web application that we could paste customer content into and get results. And you're showing me that Jupyter thing that I don't understand. It's full of code and numbers. And no, 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 that's not what I wanted. So fear not, because this is exactly what Spaces is, is all about. So what your users have in mind is probably something like this. They want to see a simple app that they can test just like this. Okay, I'm going to do that again. And it even shows me stars. So that's what I wanted all this time. You showed me silly floating point numbers. I really wanted to see stars. So this is a hugging face a solution called Spaces. In a nutshell, it lets you build a web app using a web framework, which could be either Gradio, 
which I'm using here, and Gradio is now part of Hugging Face, or uh, Streamlit, which is another framework. So you build your simple app, you push it to Git repo, and it fires up an application on managed infrastructure. So you don't need to worry about servers, you don't need to worry about anything, you just write that code, push it to the repo, and bam, and it starts and you can demo it. Needless to say, this is a silly, simple UI. You can find probably thousands by now. There are some really, really good ones here. Okay, so how much code is this? Well, we could look at here. Okay, 15 lines, okay? It's all it took. Imported Gradio, imported the pipeline API, load created a text classification pipeline using the model we fine-tuned, that exact same model here, creating a very basic interface in Gradio with a text input and a text output, and an action, which is that button that I clicked, which will call the predict function, passing a bit of text, which is, of course, the input box. And what am I doing here? I'm classifying the review. And the most complicated bit here is actually extracting that label. The UI stuff is usually the, 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 where it takes more time, at least for me. It's extracting this and turning this label underscore four into five stars, taking that star uh, emoji and, and displaying it as many times as the label says, and returning this value, which gets displayed in the output. So there you go. This is what it took, 15 lines of code, creating a space, a repository, cloning it, adding and committing my files, which is really the app file here, nothing else, pushing it, and you have that app. And now if you show, if you show that stuff to your stakeholders, well, of course it looks, you know, it looks friendlier. Now they can relate. And again, this is a very simple one in the interest of time. You can make it look much nicer. You can have different models here. I have some other demos with you know four or five models that collaborate to build something more complicated with a richer UI. Uh, but now you're speaking their language. Now you're showing them the model in action. You can have even a mock-up of your own website here, add the model to it. And now you can quickly get feedback and iterate on the original business problem. Given English language describing a product, can I easily get a result on how satisfied the customer is with that. This is really what we've done here. We started from a data set and a model. We prepared the data set using the data sets library. We trained a model with the transformers library. We deployed it locally. We deployed it with the inference API. Finally, in 15 lines of code, we built a small web app that showcases what the model does. How much time it will take you to do this depends on how familiar you are with the libraries. On your first try, maybe a week. On your second try, maybe a day, because you can reuse a lot of code. You can see all, a lot of that code is totally generic. Pretty quickly, you can do this stuff in hours. The training time will be the longer bit, but if you work with off-the-shelf models, you don't even have to train. You can just build your space, deploy it, get some user and customer feedback on it and then go back to training and fine tuning and adding your own data and getting more accuracy. We're trying to build that wheel and that collection of tools that lets you spin that wheel as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. You know, machine learning projects should be done in a matter of days, not in a matter of months and certainly not years and be extremely iterative. One last thing, a few links. So feel free to take a screenshot of that as well. So if you want to get started, you should absolutely go to huggingface.co. And we have a Transformers course, which goes deep into the libraries that I showed you today. You can ask questions on the forums. And we also have some commercial offers. If you need expert support, if you need private deployments, we can also do that. Feel free to reach out later if you have questions or if you'd like to know more.